Hello, I'm Michael Schaefer from the Warm Heart Foundation. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple top lit updraft or tea lud biochar maker. Whether your concern is smoke reduction, biochar for your garden, fields, animal feed, or to stop stink and flies, this machine is a really good place to start. Two guys can build it in a couple of hours, and it is designed to be inexpensive. Hey, you can make it with stuff you can find in the recycling yard. Easy to make. No special tools, no special training. Easy to use, nothing to it, just do it. Effective, it does the job. No smoke, good biochar. Portable, it's the size of a 200 liter drum. What more could you want? Efficient, you don't have to spend a lot of time collecting biomass and then having it reduced to a handful of biochar. This thing will give you about 30% efficiency. Let's get started. What are you going to need to make your machine? A power drill, side grinder, screwdriver, marker, eighth and half inch drill bits, pliers, string, one by one steel box, at least two meters of it, a 200 liter drum, and two pieces of roof sheeting. Turn your barrel on end so that the bung hole is down. Measure the circumference with a string. Fold the string in half. Wrap halfway around the barrel and mark the endpoints. Fold the string a second time. Set one end at one of your marks and put a dot at the other end. Repeat. Now connect the marks to create a square. Again using your string, divide each side of the square first in half and then in quarters. Draw crisscross lines through your marks. Place an X at each intersection and at the end of each line where it hits the rim of the barrel. Now use the eighth inch drill to drill starter holes at each X. Don't forget to dip your drill bit into water after each hole or it will lose its temper and go dull. Next, enlarge all the holes with the half inch drill. Flip your barrel over. Using the top of the barrel as support, measure and cut each piece of roofing to 70 centimeters. Overlap the two pieces of roofing so that combined they measure approximately one meter. Drill eighth inch holes the length of the overlap and screw the two pieces together. Now wrap the combined sheet into a tube and screw the ends together. Take your string again. This time measure two diameters, marking their endpoints on the barrel rim. Connect the marks to find the center of the barrel top. Drill an eighth inch hole at the center X. And now, measure the circumference of the stack. Fold this measure of string in thirds, into three equal parts. Now fold this one third measure of string in half. Tie a little knot at one end. Stick something really thin first through the loop at the end of your string and then into the center hole. Hold your marker at the end of your string and pivot around the center hole to make a perfect circle right in the middle of the barrel top. Using a straight edge, divide the circle into two and then four and then eight slices. Put on your safety glasses and cut along the lines that make the slices. Bend the slices to the vertical. Draw a line about four centimeters below the rim of the barrel at the end with the star. Cut the top off. Now use your cutter as a grinder to remove sharp edges. Using the open top of the barrel for stability, measure your spacers, anything more than 80 centimeters. Grind the spurs off the top. Make sure that the stack fits really tightly at the bottom. Now screw on the stack, one screw per slice. Your machine's ready to use, so let's make some char. Put your barrel up on three stones to let air in the holes at the bottom. Make sure it's stable. Pull out the top and the spacers, set them aside. Now let's fill her up. Machines like yours do best with chunky feedstock like cob. If you fill your machine up with something really dense like rice husk, it won't work. Fill your machine almost full. Spread the feedstock out evenly. A few handfuls of dry leaves are all it will take to start your machine if your feedstock is dry. Once these leaves get going, set the top on neatly and centered. It will smoke for maybe as much as 30 seconds until the stack is fully engaged. From then on, your machine should burn entirely clean. 
How do you know when it's done? Toss drops of water on the side of the barrel. When you get instantaneous puffs of steam close to the bottom, it's ready to go. Lift the top off and put it far away. Pour lots of water on the hot char. When you think it's dead, dump it. Then pour lots more water on anything that steams. When you're all done, clean your barrel. It will serve you well for years to come. Good charring. And remember, waste feedstocks only.